Hey guys, welcome to Tyson's Fitness Tips Podcast. If you want to lose weight, increase your energy, improve your health and fitness, and look your best, then you have come to the right place. My name is Tyson Brown. I'm a personal trainer, and my job is to help you transform your body by sharing with you the most up-to-date information on health and fitness. I'm going to distill it all down for you into bite-sized, actionable steps that you can take immediately to see results quickly. Now, every Tuesday and Thursday, you can expect a brand new episode, which will be a mixture of interviews with top experts from around the world in the fitness space, and as well as solo episodes from myself, sharing with you exactly what action steps you need to take to transform your health, your body, and your life. It can save you a lot of time and a lot of energy. So, let's get into the show. Five ways you can drink more water during the day. What is going on guys, it is Tyson Brown here and today I wanna talk to you about five different ways you can start drinking more water. Because I always talk about how important water is and people just say, yeah, I know I need to drink more but they never seem to be able to do it. So I thought, why not create a podcast Why I share with you five simple ways that I get more water in my day so I know that I'm hitting the number. It's actually funny, this one's a bit of a different podcast today because I'm actually walking on the way to work and I downloaded this new recording app. So I was like, you know what, let's give this a try, let's see how I go. Um, So I'm just going to jot down my thoughts while I'm walking. Now, the first thing you want to do when it comes to uh, drinking more water is start off your morning with the water straight away. So what I actually like to do is I have a little water bottle and it's 250 ml. So that way, as soon as I wake up, I have that water bottle filled up and that's the first 250 mils of my day. Easy as that, I knock it out and I know as soon as I wake up, I walk straight downstairs and that's the first thing I do because once you get that clean water in the morning, it gives you that little bit of an energy boost and it gets you on the way to your water goal. So being able to just go, okay, every night before I go to bed or in the morning, have a cup, have a special cup, or have a water bottle like I do, set something where that way you can just go, okay, sweet, I'm just gonna go down there and drink it, bang it out. So it can be 250 mils, it can be 500 mils, whatever you want to start off with, but the faster you get water into your body, the more easier it's gonna be for you to maintain drinking water during the day too, because you've already kick-started it. And when you get more busy during the day, you completely forget about it. So. That way you're like, you know what, I can do that right now. I'm just gonna go there before I get distracted. So just think about that first of all, is drinking a nice cup of water as soon as you wake up. Now the second thing to drink more water is to actually, it doesn't have to be just water. You can be drinking things that are low in calories or you can be drinking things that, um, I wouldn't say low in calories, I would say, so when you think about this, like if I went to the shops, you could drink something like coconut water. Now, coconut water is not very high in calories, but it still does have some in there. But if you want something sweet, because a lot of people just don't like drinking water, you can still get water from other sources. So this would be things like a black coffee. Coffee does not actually make you dehydrated. It can be great for water, like water consumption. So black coffee, having teas, having things like that, it's fine. Because if you don't like the taste of water, then you've got to figure out a way to be able to get that into your body. And like I said, if you have things that are sweet, that are a little bit sweeter, like black tea, or some people actually add a little bit of pink Himalayan rock salt to their um, to their water, and they've actually found that that's more beneficial for them too, because they just want that, they just want something in there because they do get bored. Now you can also buy things like little electrolyte packets that is the same type of thing, it's just sodium, but it's got a little bit of taste to it, so it might have five or 10 calories, but it's a solution you can put in your water. And all these things make them taste a little bit better. Now, I drink water personally, I can just drink it normally because I actually enjoy it, but if you want to change it up, doing things like that is gonna be the best thing. So number two is to flavor your water. So think about, okay, do I wanna add a little bit of salt? Do I wanna try something like coconut water? I can have my tea and my coffee. You've got a lot of different options out there. And that comes to number three, is drink tea or coffee. So tea or coffee still contributes to your water consumption. 
And a lot of people don't realize that when they drink that, they're actually getting more water in during their day. So if you think about, okay, so if I'm drinking more water in general, and then I'm also drinking a little bit of coffee and tea. So let's say you have two coffees a day or a coffee in the morning or a tea at lunchtime. Um, that way you're just going to be increasing it over time. And before you know it, it's going to add up very, very quickly because people don't realize when they can have things like that, it's, it makes it so much easier instead of just going, oh, I've got to drink water with me all the time. So you've got your tea and coffee or you might have, um, <coughs> sorry, you've got your tea and coffee and yeah. Number four, um, I'm going to say for number four, I'm actually thinking about these on the fly because I was like, how do I do it? Number four is carry a water bottle with you wherever you can. So I'm actually holding a water bottle with me right now in my backpack as I'm walking to work because I need to make sure I'm getting enough water during the day. And sorry about that, the traffic's a little bit hectic here at the moment. And so you need to make sure if you actually carry a water bottle with you, you're always, it's always going to be there. It's always going to be a constant reminder of like, oh, I've got to top this up. I've got to fill it up. Now, some people, they like to buy a really big water bottle. So they know, okay, I've got to drink two liters of water a day. This water bottle's two liters, and that way you just carry it around with you all day. Other people don't want to jug, like don't want to carry around a huge jug of water all the time, so they get a smaller water bottle. But what that also allows you to do is to measure how much water you're drinking during the day with these water bottles too, because you can see, okay, well this water bottle is 250 mils, and I'm carrying it around with me wherever I want, and I've refilled it four times. Well, that means you've drank a liter of water, so. Having a water bottle with you wherever you go is a constant reminder for you to go, oh yeah, I need to drink more water or oh, I haven't drank enough water today. I love carrying a water bottle with me. I've actually got several. So I've got that 250 ml one at home that I have in the morning. Then I've got another one in my backpack right now that's 500 ml. So I know how much water I'm drinking during the day and wherever I go, I've got that water bottle. And that's like if you're at work, Keep that water bottle on your desk all the time. Have it there as a constant reminder to get, oh yeah, I need to be drinking more water. So drinking more water with keeping that water bottle wherever you are is super, super key. And the last thing I want to share with you guys is to set yourself a timer. Like you can actually set yourself a little reminder on your phone to say, boom, like drink water. Every two hours, it goes off. Drink water, drink, oh yeah, of course, I need to drink more water. And these things may sound simple, but when you start adding this up over time, it's going to be so much more easier for you to be able to drink as much water as you need. Now, remember, everyone's going to have different goals. So the best thing I want to share with you guys is if you're in Australia or if you use the metric system like most people should, you're going to figure out how much water you need. So in order to figure out how much water you need, you want to get your body weight in kilograms and times it by 30 mils. So if you're a 70 kilo male and you times it by 30 mils, that's 2.1. So if you weigh 70 kilograms, you times it by 30 mil, that's 2.1 liters of water you need every day. Now, if you're over in America or using the imperial system, you wanna get your body weight in pounds, half that, and that's how many ounces you need. So if you're 220 pounds, you half that, that's 100 ounces. So guys, there are the five tips. Let's run over again really quickly. Number one is to drink water as soon as you wake up in the morning. Get yourself a bottle, get yourself a cup of a certain amount of water you can just smash down straight away. Number two is to add a little bit of flavor to your water. Salt, electrolytes, something that's gonna make it taste a little bit better. Number three, have some tea and coffee. Tea and coffee adds that to your water. Number four is to make sure you carry that water bottle with you wherever you go. Have it as a constant reminder and have multiple water bottles. Have one at your desk at work, have one in the fridge at home, have one in your car, but make sure it's not plastic if it's in the car, you don't want that plastic leaking into it, the water. And number five is to set a reminder on your phone every two hours to drink more water. That is Tyson's fitness tip for the day, guys. I hope this one was informative. A little bit different to what I usually do, but let's see if you guys enjoy it. Now, please remember to like and subscribe to the podcast because every day, every, twice a week, I'm going to be releasing more of these for you guys to get you the fittest version of yourself. Speak to you next time. 
Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. I really appreciate it. Now, I've got a special gift for you. If you want to learn how I managed to lose 10 kilos and keep it off, then I've got the perfect treat for you. I've got a free intermittent fasting cheat sheet that I share on my website that shows you exactly how to diet effortlessly with intermittent fasting and fit it into your busy lifestyle. And more importantly, this is the exact guide that I follow every single day that allowed me to lose 10 kilos of body fat and keep it off four years later. So head on over to www.tysonbrown.com.au and pick up your free cheat sheet today and learn how to fit intermittent fasting into your life and diet effortlessly. Once again, that's www.tysonbrown.com.au. Opt in for the free cheat sheet and I'm going to send it straight to your inbox for free. Until next time, speak to you guys then.